Who are you? Have you ever wondered about this question? Pondered deeply, profoundly on it? The average person will say, I'm Luciano, I'm 36 years old, I do this, I like this, I dislike that. The spiritual master will say, I am consciousness. The whole universe creating and dissolving itself while witnessing all of it at the same time. But there is a spot in the middle that is of a very practical interest to you right now. You just need to watch the person you spend the most of your time with. It's knowing your strengths and leaning on them. It's knowing your weaknesses and using tools to balance them, to fall prey to them less often. It's knowing your deeper yearnings, interests, values, enough so that you can stand strong for them. It's knowing how far you can stretch yourself before you break. Knowing your needs and your boundaries and learning how to communicate them. Do you even ask yourself these questions? You should do it often because they can change your life profoundly. What are your priorities? Where do you see yourself in 5, 10, 20 years? Which kind of people do you want around you? If you take a moment to contemplate these questions, you might find that your current reality is not in alignment with all of this. That you have been ignoring your deepest values, lying to yourself. Because a lot of the people I know are completely okay with working eight hours a day on a job they dislike. But they can't sit for 20 minutes in silence with themselves. Where are you sabotaging yourself? What important things have you been postponing for too long? What do you say to yourself that you wouldn't say to someone you care about and love? It's time to take action. You might also realize you want the change, but you're not willing to make the necessary efforts. Maybe right now it feels like a colossal task, impossible to conquer. Then adapt, trace a plan, Break it down into the tiniest steps, as if you were teaching a child. There's no shame in humble beginnings. It's never too late. You will be surprised of what you can accomplish, and of the forces that will conspire to aid you once you commit to your soul's purpose. And speaking of the soul, what if there was another life? What if you could trace a destination across multiple lifetimes? What would you do different? If you had all the money, time and resources, what would you do with your time? What would you choose if anything was possible? If there was no chance of failure, who would you become? What gifts would you give to the world? These are the questions you need to ask yourself. Every day, with love, patience, courage, and humbleness. You have the possibility of embarking yourself on a journey of epic proportions. Will you take it? Who are you going to be?